Hello everyone, I'm JG. Welcome back to Music Forever, where today I am talking about the new Weezer single, Feels Like Summer. Weezer are one of my favorite bands of all time. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, I recently did a top 20 Weezer songs, and I mean, I think that just kind of proves how much of a Weezer fan I am, and just how familiar I am with their stuff. So, I'm not just some casual fan reacting to this song here. I'm a pretty hardcore Weezer fan. And so when I heard they had a new single coming out, I was a bit, well, excited of course because I love Weezer, but at the same time a bit skeptical considering their last album only came out last April. It hasn't even been a full year since the White Album dropped. And I do love that album and the album that preceded it, Everything Will Be Alright in the End. But of course anyone who's familiar with Weezer knows that um, they've been hit or miss, I guess, in their middle years, I guess you could say. The first two albums are usually well regarded and, and critically acclaimed and really everything after that leading up to the release of Everything Will Be Alright in the End is kind of, as I said before, hit or miss. I think they've had some good albums in there. Stuff like the Green Album is pretty good in my opinion. Maladroit is also a pretty great album. And of course there are the misfires, stuff like Ratitude and Hurley that are just like not, not stuff I ever want to revisit. But of course, with everything will be alright in the end, that kind of brought Weezer back, and the White Album just kind of continued that. With one of my favorite albums of last year, it actually made my top 10 albums of 2016, and with good reason in my opinion. It was a really great summer feeling album that just, you know, got stuck in my head and didn't leave my head the entire rest of 2016. And to be honest, it still hasn't left my head. When I was going back for that uh, Top 20 Weezer song, uh, video I did. I was listening to that album a lot, of course, not just to like prepare for the video again, remind myself about some of the songs on that album, but really just because I do love that album and, you know, it sticks with me a lot. But that's enough for the White Album, because now we're talking about the Black Album, and that's what Weezer's next album is going to be called. And now when I initially heard the title of this album before hearing this song, I thought it would be a darker album when compared to the White Album in terms of sound. You know, the White Album, as I said before, was a very summery, kind of happy-sounding album. You know, the perfect soundtrack to your summer, in my opinion. So I thought the Black Album would kind of be, you know, the opposite of that, a bit darker, and, you know, a bit more depressing, I guess you could say. Maybe more on the lines of Pinkerton, but, I mean, they'll never make an album like that again. Uh, really, this single proved me wrong, though, because this song is also rather upbeat and happy, but in a very different way than the White Album songs were. Those songs obviously were made to be put together, in my opinion. You can even look at some of the B-sides and rare tracks from that album, like Friend of a Friend, that was included on the bonus deluxe edition of that album, and you can kind of tell it was made during that same time period. But here, this song clearly was made for a completely different project, because it is a bit poppier. And now, don't get scared, Weezer fans. I know I just said poppier and Weezer in like the same paragraph, but it's not Ratitude, it's not Hurley, you can calm yourself. Because I think this song is actually pretty good. Now, this song has been having a mixed reaction based on what I've seen from Weezer fans and just people online in general. Some people, of course, complaining about the poppier elements, saying that it's Ratitude Part 2, or maybe 3, I guess, if you consider Hurley Ratitude Part 2. But, um, some people saying that they like it, though, and that, you know, it's a rather good pop song. In my opinion, it kind of is. Weezer, when they want to make a good pop song, clearly can. Just look at songs like Buddy Holly, Dope Nose, Island in the Sun, and... You know, those are really good songs in my opinion, even though that they're more poppy, radio-leaning tracks. And I know that they have made some bad poppy songs. I mean, as I've been saying frequently in this review, just look at Ratitude and Hurley if you want to know what I mean. But when they want to make a good pop song, they really can. And this track, in my opinion, is a good example of that. The track has some more synths going on in it than anything that we saw on the White Album, but I think it's incorporated nicely along with the more, you know, electric guitar, traditional band set of kind of sounds. And I think it creates a sound that's very different from the White Album, yet at the same time is very good in my opinion. This song is, you know, very lead single -y, if you know what I mean by that. Uh, it's not exactly a super deep song, but it's something that kind of gets you hooked and gets you excited for the album. And in my opinion, this song does. Uh, the lyrics here remind me a lot of, you know, surprisingly, Thank God for Girls, the lead single from the White Album. And I remember back when that song was first released, and that was only about a year and a month after Everything Will Be in the Right in the End was released. And I was like, this must be way too soon for a lead single for a new album. This must be just some kind of leftover track they had. And I remember listening to it and not really caring much for it, and I didn't hear it again until the album came out. And it's really grown on me since then, of course. As I said before, I love the White Album, and Thank God for Girls is a pretty big reason why. It's a pretty good song in my opinion. And I know lots of people aren't a big fan of it. It's still pretty dividing in a, the Weezer fan base. And the lyrics I feel are a big reason for that. You know, 
and Thank God for Girls, he has kind of this awkward sort of flow to his lyrics, and they're a bit, you know, weird and stuff, which Weezer lyrics always have been, but Thank God for Girls maybe took it a step up in terms of the weirdness. And here on this new track, the lyrics are also really kind of weird and out there. It's not really, and when people kind of compare this to Ratitude and Hurley, I have to kind of disagree because the lyrics on those albums were a bit more simple, and at times they were kind of weird and stuff, but not in a very good way. Just look at the track, I'm Your Daddy, that, that I, just, I feel really dirty just saying that song title. The weird lyrics here, in my opinion, really kind of fit well, and they just feel very natural. You know, just take a look at these lyrics, and you can clearly tell that they were written by Rivers Como. They just have that, you know, Weezer feel to them. And overall, despite this track having a more poppy-leaning sound, I think that when done right, the poppy-leaning Weezer can be really good, in my opinion. And, you know, lots of bands I'm a fan of have released popular-leaning tracks this year. Lots of them haven't exactly hit the marks, and the reason why is because, you know, even though they're experimenting in the more poppy territory, they're not exactly doing it well. And Weezer here, they are going into a popular territory, but they're doing it well. And, I mean, they also have the benefit of having done so before, I guess you could say. They're not exactly new to making, you know, these popular-leaning tracks, but, I mean... It's just good overall, this song, in my opinion. If you're a Weezer fan, I recommend you check it out. You may not like it, and if you're not a fan of Thank God for Girls or, like, you know, anything from the White Album, maybe this may not be for you. But if you're a Weezer fan, you owe it to yourself to check out this track. I still find it funny that this song, you know, is about summer, but, I mean, there's like a foot and a half of snow outside my house. I mean, it's really awkward listening to this song right now. I mean, I really gotta wait to the summer for this to really kind of sink in, I think. But that was just my opinion on the new Weezer track. You're free to have your own, and I'd like to see it down in the comment section below. Um, of course, I like discussing Weezer with people because, as I said before, they're one of my favorite bands. And of course, thank you for watching this video. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more track reviews. And of course, I'm going to be reviewing this new Weezer project whenever it drops. Stay golden.